I recently needed to get some video from an old tape that I had in my archives back in the 60s and 70s. This was one hour of videotape. And it was on a giant reel that contains an hour's worth of two inch tape. These days there are very few machines that can play a two inch quad tape. But a friend of mine, Larry Odom, has machines in his basement that he's kept up and is able to transfer these. And Larry explained to me some of the issues involved in transferring old two inch quad tapes like this. Let's take a look. I thought just finding a working playback machine, my problem was solved, but Larry explained it's not quite that simple. Well, the problem is, they came up with this back protectant that's made out of foam, and over time, the adhesive that glue, the glue they used to glue this to the metal reel, it it breaks down or it decomposes or something happens and it just turns into a, a, a liquid state and it oozes out through these little these little holes that have been punched in the foam mm -hmm. and of course when it gets to that point it's sticky like molasses and it gets you know all down in the tape and if you can see some of these little imprints here, that's where this glue has has leached down into the tape. Of course, if the tape is stored like this, that's even worse because, you know, the gravity yeah. is going, it's going to go right on to the tape. This is an Ampex VR1200. Uh, originally, it was a 1967 VR-1200. Well, should we fire it up? Yeah, it's going to get noisy. What I'm not showing you is about six hours of cleaning that Larry did on this tape to get rid of that gooey stuff that dripped down from the phone. I didn't think you really wanted to see that. This is the uh, video head run. This is the vacuum guide for the tape. Uh, this is the control track head. And these are the uh, audio and the cue. Still got a little bit of that sticky adhesive on it. Playing a play that was done around 1990. 
beetle. You know, it looks like it was done yesterday. How many formats can you say that about? Nowadays, everything's point and click, where you push a button and it works, you know, for years. These machines were never that way. They may run for a couple of days unattended, but, you know, usually every day or two you'd have to do a little tweaking, make an adjust, you know, keep everything looking good. What's really sad is there are probably thousands of hours of two-inch quad tape sitting on somebody's shelf somewhere, and they don't realize that the material is literally disintegrating as it sits there on the shelf. And there are very few people like Larry who have the machines that can play them and the know-how to clean them up so that they can even be put on the machine.